Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando and we are going to be celebrating Mardi Gras. This is such a cool event with amazing food from all around the world, some really cool entertainment, and an awesome parade. So I figured we'd come on out, eat some food, throw some beads, and just have a beautiful Universal Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. And here we are, we have made it. Universal Studios Florida, Universal's Mardi Gras International Flavors of Carnival taking place February 4th till April 16th. And I am so excited. I can't wait to try all the food and show you guys around. Like I mentioned, there is this awesome parade at the end of the night with some really catchy music and there's people tossing beads and you can actually go on the floats. Like you can be in the parade and throw the beads to all the guests and it's really cool. They have a virtual queue that they release that you could do it or you can do a dining experience where you pay $86.99 I think it is and you get a three course meal and a guaranteed spot to go on the floats. So I think we're going to try to do that today. If not, then we're just gonna watch it. A part of the Mardi Gras festival, you can actually get a food and beverage card and you get to actually save some money. So if you pay $65, then you get a $75 card, $75 card and lanyard. And then for annual pass holders, if you pay $120, you get a $150 card and a lanyard. And I like this. I like when festivals like food things where they have like cards like this so you can go around because I think it's more convenient. Universal has actually invited me out so that I can give you guys a better look at some of this year's offerings and we're gonna do a little special event and then we're gonna head on out, go to our dinner, get ready for the float and try some food. Something else that's really cool about this event, you don't even need to go into the park itself because they have tons of activities out on City Walk and all you have to do is just come and like pay to park and they have the Cursed Coconut Club that is really cool. It's kind of a Mardi Gras or voodoo themed bar and then they've got Patty O'Brien's, some food stands like that were inside the park or actually out on City Walk. So you can actually just come and enjoy without actually buying a park ticket. This year's Mardi Gras has food from over 17 countries around the world and because we're doing a little special event they're going to give us some of the items so that we can try now but once we go into the park I plan on showing you around to some of the different boots and then don't forget I think we're going to try to still get dinner uh, so that we can ride the float. Looks like they've got some fresh beignets for us to try. Might as well get myself a bag of beignets. And then they have Babor Kata Hatan. And it's kind of like a rice pudding, like a sticky, sticky, sticky rice. I don't think I've ever had anything like this. I think it's Indian, so I'm gonna try it. This is kind of adventurous for me because I'm eating something I, I literally have no idea what it is actually. I know it's some type of rice, so we're going for it. I don't know, it kind of looks like blueberry filling though. Oh, that's delicious. It tastes like rice pudding. I actually do enjoy this a lot. I also decided at trying some of the Mufongo and this looks really good. It's got a little shrimp in there. I don't think I've ever had that before. And here's just a quick peek at the beignets in the bag. The beignets in the bag. I like when they do this because then you can shake it up and make sure they got extra sugar on them. Might as well try more new things. And since I tried that little rice pudding dish, I think I'm going to do the Mufongo. I'm going to grab a little, little bit of it little mofongo. I've never had this before, so I have no idea what the taste or the texture is. I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a go. Okay. It's very good. Reminds me of stuffing, actually. This is actually really, really good. I do like it. But now, it's time for the beignets. It's time to get down to the beignet business. These beignets are so light and fluffy and you know beignets go good with Mardi Gras along with hurricanes and jambalaya and gumbo which I can't wait to try some jambalaya and gumbo because you know that it's definitely a must but a nice little beignet is a good way to start so here we go cheers oh yeah that's a good beignet it's definitely a beignet and not a beignot, but look at that. 
so delicious that's the way now i i've never had beignets from like say new orleans before so i don't know if they should be airy or should they be thick and you know kind of like fluffy all i can uh, like describe beignets is how i've had them either here in universal or disney or oh disneyland so i don't know which one is kind of more traditional you know look at me being fancy trying new things trying new things once i thought i was done something brought me back for more and that is the liege waffle with strawberries and cream look at this i literally was just like you know what i'm done but i can't pass up a liege waffle it looks too good i love how liege waffles are kind of doing like a big like they're kind of like very trendy right now you get the liege waffle over in epcot i see them all over the place in fact there is a restaurant near my house that just sells liege waffles like they sell waffles and like chicken and stuff like that so i'm excited to try this one because it looks pretty good it looks a little flaky actually you can actually pick this up and have like a waffle taco oh wait a second that does exist i feel seriously just look at this <laughs> all right here we go that got on my nose but it is amazing look at my nose <laughs> The sugar crystals are amazing. This is much too good, honestly. So good. Well, that was a lot of fun. I'm glad I got to try a little bit of the sampling of the different items in the food boots. Now we're gonna actually make our way over to Lombard's because that's where we actually got our dining reservation for our dine and float ride. But we do wanna try some more of the items. Like I said, maybe some jambalaya, some gumbo, and it's all smaller portions. So you get to actually enjoy and try different things without actually getting full. But the Lombard's, that's a three course meal. Like I mentioned, they have some of the food booths actually right out on City Walk. And this year, they're even having some over at Islands of Adventure in 17 different countries. Look at the taste of the Mediterranean. So they have like a grilled octopus with rice and then a crepe sazette. I've never even heard of this, but it comes with Grand Marnay orange sauce, which sounds amazing. And then over on this side, I think they actually have like a New Orleans style food right next to Fat Tuesday. Kind of appropriately right here. I wanted to wear something a little bit Mardi Gras-ish and I didn't know what to wear. And since I've come to Universal Studios, I decided to wear my Tiki Toons Nickelodeon Roosevelt. And look at this shirt. It's like a 90s nostalgic all wrapped up in one. Look at all the characters on there. I love this shirt so much. Now that we have made it into the park, you can actually see a lot of the entertainment just hanging around the characters. And this is cool because you get to see it during the parade and then actually just throughout the whole entire day. I love it, it's so festal. Ooh, and they even got some beads. Very nice. Hey friend. The parade has several themed different floats. Of course, they always have like their returning favorites like the river boats and the king and queen float, but they always have new ones. And on opening night, I actually was here and I was throwing beads, but I wasn't making videos and I was on Serpent. So I'm excited to see what float we actually get this time. And the performers that you'll see walking around, some of them are all separately themed to different things too. One of the things I have to say about Universal Studios is their entertainment is honestly next level. It's also important to point out that everybody celebrates the Mardi Gras season, even Scooby and Shaggy. Look at that. That is kind of cool. The Mardi Gras float and dine experience is actually $84.99 per person, and you can choose between Finnegan's, uh, Lombard's, NBC, or Cowfish, which are all amazing restaurants. Lombard's is the one that popped up. Now, they all have separate availability. You have to pick the restaurant first, and you can do this in the Universal app. And uh, once you do that, they give you like a little lanyard, and you're able to go and actually have a reserved spot for the floats themselves. And it's hard to get on those floats. Like, those virtual queues go like that. Oh wow, a little street performance too. Seriously. 
obviously there is just non-stop entertainment throughout the whole entire day and it only gets better as nighttime closes in. I love it so much. And here we go. We have made it to our restaurant, Lombard Seafood Grill, and they even have a special Mardi Gras dish on the menu. And you know we're definitely going to have to get that. Now that we have checked in, they gave us our little lanyards. We had to prepay for this, so we just sit down, order what we want, and then we can leave. And I also found out that we get our annual pass discount. It was $84.99 on the app, but uh, when we booked it, I think it was a little cheaper. So our AP, our, like, our AP discount ended up being around $55 per person. And that's amazing. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a deal and a half. Lombard's is such a pretty restaurant. Every time I come in here, I say it. Like, I feel so elegant eating here. We got fish fountains in the lobby. Nice carpet. The chairs are fancy. It's very nice. Look, a big fish tank right in the center of the room. Now that we have made it to Lombard's, I want to go over the menu with you, try to figure out what we're going to eat, and uh, have a little fun. Here is a look at the menu, and because we're doing the dining package, uh, it's all three courses. So we get one appetizer, one entree, and then one dessert. And they've got some nice things for appetizers. They've got street shrimp cocktail, calamari, tuna poke, and then for entrees, because it's Lombard's, it's a lot of fish. So like they have the fisherman's basket, fish and chips. They've got uh, Branzino. But what I'm interested in is this Bayou shrimp, and it has the little Mardi Gras sign next to it. So that's like a, a special or a favorite that they're doing just for the Mardi Gras season and it looks good and then dessert I don't know we'll have to look and see but I think I'm going uh, I think I'm going calamari and bayou shrimp a little bayou shrimp I have eaten here before in the past and the food is always amazing it's so good especially if you love fish and I'm excited to dive into the uh, uh, calamari that I got but more excited for probably the bayou shrimp down by the bayou here is the calamari and at first I got nervous because I was like what's that red sauce under there I hope it's not like something I wouldn't like but it's the good old marinara and that's what I like some nice little calamari the Italian way joining me on the parade float tonight is a really fun crew look at you guys all ready and I like the shirts look at these are actually fitting very very fitting like oh yeah there is yeah, there's a lot of them. So I hope we get that one. That would be cool. And then we also have Ashlyn and Promise and Chris. The gang's all here. Everyone's having fun. We have a large party. Yeah. We party large. Here we go. It's time to try the calamari. It's very crispy. I can already tell. Lots and lots of good texture here. Oh, that is good. Chris, what did you order? <laughs> what did you order? There was a public sub on the right? It's a pub sub Bloody Mary. <laughs> All right, this is the Cadillac Old Fashioned. Oh, the Cadillac. Yes. Apple oh. pie Old Fashioned. Ooh, that looks good. Yes. This is the classic Old Fashioned. Wow. I believe someone ordered a public sub Bloody Mary. Yes. <laughs> this is the Carnivore Bloody Mary and the Soma District right here. Wow. Holy moly. Holy. What? <laughs> We're like all like we don't know what to say. Like, yes. Yeah, it is wow. literally a pub sub. And just like that, dinner has arrived. I ended up getting the shrimp bayou or the bayou shrimp. The only thing is, is I don't see any of the sausage on here. Did you see any sausage or is it in it? It's in the cake. It's in the cake. It's in the cake. Wow. It's in the grits cake. Yeah, there's like a little fried grits yeah. cake there. The shrimp look good and then the sauce is good. And then I think we have some cream spinach under there. So we're going to dive right on in. I only wish they had more than four shrimp. Oh, you know what I mean? I feel like shrimp should only come out in like 6 and 12. 6 and 12. <laughs> 6 and 12. A half dozen. A half a baker's dozen. dozen. A baker's dozen. I'm going to try the shrimp on its own first, and then we're going to try it with the grit cake. I do like a little grit cake. I don't think I've ever had it before. But now that I know sausage is on the inside, that's my kind of cake. Mmm. Wow. Pretty good thing. The power of that shrimp. That's good. Now I'm gonna try a little bit of this grit cake here. 
Ooh, it's got a little spice to it. <laughs> it's creeping in on me. Creeping in. Look at that. Honestly, it looks like a, a crab cake. Crab tree. There we go. Grab a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Seriously, look at that. It looks so good. I really do like this a lot. I feel like I need to get more. I just wish I had a little bit more shrimp. That's all I'm looking for. Everybody else had some good food though. It's all gone. It's all gone. I'm the slow eater. Where'd it go? Was it that good? What'd you have? I missed swordfish and it melted in your mouth. That swordfish. So I missed this all. I'm gonna have to watch your video now. <laughs> I'm, I missed it all. I Enough of the Bayou shrimp business. It's time for desserts. Look at all these desserts. They got a chocolate cake, a key lime pie, a mocha triangle. I went with the key lime pie, pie though. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, that could be a dessert. <laughs> Here we go, a little key lime pie time. Key lime pie time, I like that. Got the end piece. I like it. I'll trade you some of my key lime pie for some of your mocha triangle. <laughs> That's a deal. That sounds like a good trade. That's a good deal. We're gonna scoop a doo. A little scoop a doo. Scoop a doo. There we go. Cheers. That's the way. Cheers. That was amazing. Such a great value, honestly. Because, like I said, if they just had sold an individual lightning lane so that we can go and do the bead tossing, I probably would just pay for it. You know what I mean? And have it all together. The food was great. But I did notice that because today is like not a weekend, the parade starts earlier than I thought. And we have to go check in at 4.55. Before 5 o'clock. So we're going to head over there and check in so that we can get ourselves our nice little gowns, find out what floor we're on and then I don't know hopefully we could try some more food once we're done if not I'm gonna be tossing a lot of beads as we're making our way over to the check-in area you can see we've got some of the stands here good old Belgium and then Germany over there I love that they have multiple stands and they have all good drinks and food items this might be one of the best food festivals in Orlando itself hi I'm looking at those liege waffles those are the stuff right there Right there, that's them. Right there. They're so good. Amazing. Yep. We're all like staring like little kids. Here we go. We have made it over to the check-in area. We have our credentials. And also, if you ever do want to ride the floats, they do do a last minute drop sometimes. So you can always try again with the virtual queue. Now we have to get our sashes. I'm so excited to be Gator. Like we're team Gator and that's the last float. It's one of the biggest floats too. So it's going to be our job to bring it home. Like we got to we got we got to go hard. We got to go we're bringing it we we're, we're going all the way. Gator right here team Gator. I love it. There's a good color on it. I know I like it. That's so cool. And they have all the different uh costumes for the different floats. I do want to be riverboat one day. Feet don't fail me now. Who? Feet don't fail me now. Feet don't fail me now. Team Gator! Woo! This is going to be the Gator Team! Woo! So get your guys up. Please follow your beat captain. They're going to bring you over to where you have to go. Woo! Team Gator! Team Gator! The next time you see us, we're gonna be on the float. So here we go. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes! Woo! This is so much fun. Look at this. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Beat for days. Confetti! We've got so many beads. So many beads. Woo! Oh, hey! <laughs> Woo! Nice! Oh, yeah, there they are! <laughs> Yes! 
Underhand or to the side. No overhand. No, no overhand. No overhand. No overhand. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Oh, nice! Double, double, double! There you go! <laughs> Me now, feet don't fail me now. 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 Yes! <laughs> a cool experience I ended up leaving with a bunch of beads and a bunch of confetti look at that you just toss it everywhere I mean it really doesn't matter at this point look at the ground <laughs> like, <laughs> scoop some of that yeah cleanup crew coming in <laughs> yeah Woo. So many people I was tossing beads to and it was awesome. Everyone that was calling out my name and recognized me, I really loved that. And it was cool also seeing a lot of friends like Jackie was out there and there was a big group of people in like a separate viewing area that I got to say hi to. And then also a little friend made me a little star beady thing. She made this, isn't that nifty? I love it. Wait, let me get Show me this magic trick. Ready for the magic trick? Okay. Wait, 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 oh, okay. 
Oh. Do it one more time. You are the magic. Now it's time to clean up all of the confetti. And that's how the confetti gets vacuumed up. <laughs> Since the park closed at seven o'clock, I figured we'd come out to City Walk and explore some of the Mardi Gras festivities that they have going on out here. They have the New Orleans stand and they have the Yakaman. It's kind of like a, a Ramyun and it kind of looks good. I'm excited to do try this. Look at this. Braised beef, poached shrimp, and seven minute egg over noodles with spicy beef broth. Yakaman. They also have an Old Baby beer, and it's made by Crooked Can, a local brewery here in Winter Garden, and it tastes like king cake, so it's like a king cake beer, and I, I, I don't think I can pass it up. King cake beer. You remember that one time you brought a gigantic king cake to yes, uh, Port Orleans? And you found the baby. Yeah. <laughs> you I don't know who got it. I remember. I just remember Maria bringing a gigantic king, king cake, cake in. There was a baby. Yeah. Well, cheers. Cheers. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> I'm excited to give this a go. They actually made it really well balanced. Because you have all. Uh, That's delicious. The feels from. The oh yeah. Here is the yakaman, and it looks so good. Get a couple shrimps in there. You got the egg. I wonder if it's super spicy. I can see the beef in there too. It's a good portion. Pretty big old cup. They actually give you a chopstick fork. Look at this promise. You mean to open it? Yeah, she said that's a real dingle hopper. <laughs> it's a real dingle hopper. I could like Look at that. dingle chopsticks right in my hair. Look, you don't even have to work to use yeah. it. You pinch it or you fork it. That's intervention. <laughs> you fork it. Here you go. All right, I'm gonna use my special, Chork. what did you call them? Chork. Chork. Chorks. Try to find myself some noodles. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't work effectively. I'm gonna say it doesn't work effectively. I can get one noodle and one piece of beef. There we go, that works. <laughs> it's good. I don't like the noodles, I like the beef. The beef is good. Not so much the sauce, uh, not, not so much the noodles though. Very wild, it's hard to get it. Yeah, it's very slippery. Very, very hard to pin down there. But the beef is good. <laughs> Look at the noodles, they just keep flopping off. I tried using the tongs or the, the chopstick tongs. side. The tongs. That's Yeah. You know what, it is tongs. <laughs> it is tongs. <laughs> Enough of the Yakaman business. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> we're gonna move along, and I think we're actually gonna head up to Pat O'Brien's again. That's where we started off our day. Maybe that's where we're gonna end it. We were going to make our way back on over to Pat O'Brien's, but it looks like they closed it off for a private event. A company rented out all of City Walk. Wow, that's a good company right there. Right? What a party. What a retreat. A team building exercise. <laughs> Since that's actually closed off, I figured the only thing that's open actually over here is Antojitos. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're celebrating Mardi Gras, but we could get a margarita. This place is actually a really good restaurant. They've got some nice guac and chips, and I think we're just gonna grab a little, uh, a little margarita. Margar uh, Mardi Gras margarita. I don't even know if that doesn't even sound right. Mardi Gras margarita. <laughs> it's probably super loud in here, but I got the watermelon margarita. You guys want a cheers real quick? Chris got a watermelon margarita watermelon. too. Cheers. Big old margaritas. And with that, we ended the night with a little watermelon margarita, which was fantastic. I mean, the watermelon margarita was way better than I thought it would be, but we had a great day. Mardi Gras was fantastic, throw in the beads. I wish we could have tried a little bit more of the food inside there, but the park closed at seven o'clock, and that was like so early, because the last time I came, I think it was open till nine o'clock. And uh, yeah, it's been a fun, amazing time. Thank you Universal Studios for inviting me out and being able to show you guys all the cool snacks and the beads and everything like that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. And a good Mardi Gras tradition. We got to sacrifice our beads to the tree. I'm doing them all at once.